Silva and former UFC heavyweight champion Rico Suave Rodriguez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, joining us to the cage of Elite XC, please welcome the former heavyweight champion, Rico Rodriguez. Great fight. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. These words epitomize the life and career of Rico Rodriguez tonight in his Elite XC debut. The guy who thinks he's as cool as the other side of the pillow. Some would say he's 10 pounds of smugness in a five pound bad. Well, he's looking to once again make headlines inside the cage instead of out of it. Okay, guys, as a fighter, Rodriguez, as we all know, has accomplished a great deal in the sport of MMA. But, just my opinion, in the greater picture of life as a human being, I think the jury is still out on Rico Rodriguez. Uh, that's very well said, Bill. Even though his striking has vastly improved, his legacy as a fighter has largely been defined for his wrestling and his grappling ability. But his conditioning has always been his nemesis. And tonight is not the night he wants to reach E on his gas tank. Well, believe me, guys, having worked with Rico, watching him throughout the years, he never met a microphone he didn't like. I'm just basically going to show what I do best, and that's fight. Rodriguez locked in the guillotine from... It's going to be a war. You, you win, lose, or draw, I'm still coming out jacked up. If you're a real mixed martial arts fan, this is the fight of the night. I think this fight's going to be so great that there's going to be a rematch. At the end of this fight, people are going to say, Rico Rodriguez is a bad mother... And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the Brazilian heavyweight sensation, Antonio Bigfoot Silva. After making the move to heavyweight, Antonio Silva has everyone talking about his potential to dominate the division. Simply put, this Brazilian behemoth who trains out of the American top team in Coconut Creek, Florida, is a physical freak who moves with the alacrity of a man half his size. First of all, what does alacrity mean? But anyway, you know, I've been around big guys for all my life on the gridiron and everywhere else, and this guy, to me, is the equivalent of an old lineman running about a 4 5 40. That's sick. That is sick. The first time I saw Antonio Silva fight, in the back of my mind, I thought, is this the guy who is going to beat Fyodor Emelianenko? I was that impressed. His stand-up, his ground are world-class. He's a, tr he's a threat across the board. The man they call Bigfoot is ready to take that next big step. Alacrity. Nice. Eu tô bem treinado. Tô bem. I'm well prepared physically and technically. Nice uppercut by Silva. If it stays standing up, I'm very comfortable. If it goes down, that's my home. If it's ground and pound, I'm very comfortable also. I want to win this fight by knockout. And it is All right, we're set for this battle of the big boys, and here is the tale of the tape. Rodriguez, four years older than Silva, both the same height. Rodriguez with the weight advantage. And now to introduce these two heavyweight warriors. Once again, it's time to throw it to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, Elite XC presents a heavyweight special attraction brought to you by Rockstar Energy Drink, Hunter World Markets, and Showtime. Now we introduce you our three judges scoring this bout from cage side. All once again from Florida, we have Hector Gomez, Rich Green, and Chris Lee. Introducing to you our referee in charge of this bout. He'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Jorge Ortiz. All right, fans, here we go. Three five-minute rounds scheduled. Introducing
introducing to you first on my left, talk to fighting out of the blue corner, standing six feet four inches, he weighed in at 262 and three quarter pounds, specializing in the I'm MMA rich today. traditions of wrestling I'm and jujitsu. His record stands at 27 I'm wins, seven losses, with eight wins coming by way of knockout and 15 by way of submission. Representing the American Fight Club, hailing from Staten Island, New York, please welcome the former Abu Dhabi Combat Championships gold medalist and the former UFC heavyweight champion, introducing Rico Suave. And his opponent across the cage on my right. He is fighting out of the red corner. Standing six feet four inches, he weighed in at 259 and three quarter pounds. Specializing in the disciplines of Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu, his record stands at nine wins, one defeat, with seven wins coming by way of knockout and two by submission. Fighting out of American top team, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Brazilian heavyweight sensation from Coconut Creek, Florida, by way of Campina Grande, Paraíba, Brazil, introducing Antonio Bigfoot Silva. Oh, once again, our referee in charge, Jorge Ortiz, now to give instructions. All right, guys, we went over the rules. I want to remind you, protect yourself at all times. I want a clean fight. Touch them up. Good luck to both of you. Back up. Antonio Bigfoot Silva has used his exceptional Muay Thai skills to finish off seven of his victories by KO in the first round. Rico Rodriguez, one of the best heavyweight submission fighters in the world. You ready? You ready? Timekeeper, go! A fight a lot of people have been waiting for is underway in the heavyweight division. Rico Rodriguez trying to exercise his personal demons weighing the red trunks. Antonio Silva, a one-time super heavyweight, now at heavyweight looking to be the next big thing. And you know what? Good in shape Rico is definitely the biggest test in Silva's career as to, you know, to date. There's no question about that. Antonio Silva is the current cage rage heavyweight champion. And you gotta like his fight against Cabbage. You called that for that flying knee was incredible. He is just an incredible physical specimen. And for Rico Rodriguez, we talk about a guy who has been well over 300 pounds before Bill was a member of the celebrity rehab cast on VH1 and now trying to put his life back in order. He's only 30 years of age. Let's not forget that. This guy, former Abu Dhabi competitor, a former UFC heavyweight champion. I mean, there's no question on the ground, Rico is in the top, you know, heavy, top up, top 10, whatever, you know. When he's in shape for the heavyweight division and submission, no question. I would put him right up there with Frank Mir, Antonio Drigo Noguera. Now Silva tagging him, getting his attention. A minute, 15 gone in the opening round. There's one thing about Rico, he's improved his stand-up so much. That used to be his weakness. When he fought Tim Sylvia, he was like an unarmed bandit, you know, and he just got clocked out of there. Rodriguez. He's hanging tough. Showing a good job of avoiding the offensive onslaught thus far by Antonio Bigfoot Silva. Bit of a feeling up process here. High head kick blocked by Silva. I thought Rico looked good in a losing effort against Ben Rothwell. Took that fight on short notice. You guys have called Rico's fights many times. How, how's his quickness look at this weight right now? I think he looks pretty good. I recall the first time Rico ever fought in Pride, he fought against Gary Goodridge. Uh-oh, that jab sent his head back. He, he came in uh, against Gary Goodridge and he threw a spinning back kick and I, I couldn't believe it. Well, gentlemen, both of you were on the broadcast crew of the fight in the WFA with Ron Waterman, where he looked very sluggish and uh, big improvement well, you know, so far. He was tonight. close to 400 pounds at that time. My God, anybody close to that weight, you know, is, is gonna look sluggish. He's so, taking it seriously now. They both touch gloves, so they tagged him with the job. Jimmy Lennon Jr. said that Rico came from the rich tradition uh, in mixed martial arts of jiu-jitsu. Before the Ron Waterman fight, he came from the rich MMA tradition of pasta. And 
cake and Slurpees. <laughs> Beautiful leg kick. Right hand by Silva catches Rodriguez. Rodriguez tries to go for a knee, is tagged by another left from Silva. Three minutes now gone, and I was waiting for this to take down by Rodriguez. That was good. That was a nice takedown. He caught Silva thinking in terms of the stand-up, and it was a great way to lull him into a little bit of a sleep and to get the takedown. And with his Brazilian background, of course, Silva working his jiu-jitsu at American Top Team, but against a guy like Rico Rodriguez, I would have to say this is not where Silva wants to be. Rico's slick, man, and we've all wanted to see Silva's groundwork, and Rico's putting it to the test. Do you agree or disagree, Stephen? Well, I, I, I agree uh, because of the elbow factor, but not because of the submission factor, because in fact, Silva has trained a good deal with the Noguera brothers. And so he's seen pretty much every submission uh, possibility you're gonna see on the ground from a heavyweight by those guys. And while Rico Rodriguez is an Abu Dhabi veteran, has 15 submission wins in his career, He's also scored some of his biggest wins via the punches and the strikes. Ground and pound. His biggest wins over his biggest opponents have been by ground and pound. Final minute of the opening round. Rodriguez working Silva on the ground. Silva, the big man at 6'4", 259 and three quarter pounds. Rodriguez also 6'4", 262 and three quarters at the weigh-in. So an evenly matched fight, physically speaking. As the referee Troy Wa or make that Jorge Ortiz looking for more action, Silva doing a good job of restricting Rodriguez thus far. You know, if you're Rico, how do you find a training partner that can emulate a Silva? You have to go to a, a different planet. <laughs> 20 seconds now left in the opening round. Nice elbow, short elbow delivered by Rodriguez from his wide base. Just grinding out the round here, Rico Rodriguez, final 10 seconds. It ends with Rico Rodriguez in the close guard of Antonio Bigfoot Silva. Round one is in the books. Okay, let's take a look at that jab of Silva with Chad Rico fading back, trying to knee his way back in, but it was that push out there that kept Rico thinking and on the outside. And, and, and let's have a look at that takedown. It was off of a kick and a punching exchange by uh, Antonio Silva. Rico came in with a flying knee. Silva was thinking stand-up. Rico faked a high punch. Got the double leg takedown into the closed guard of Silva. Silva really uh, didn't expect that. Record crowd in attendance here at the Bank United Center. You ready? Many of them on hand for Kimbo Slice versus Tank Abbott, but we've got a heavyweight matchup here in round number two. Rico Rodriguez, winner of six of his last seven fights. He only lost to Ben Rothwell in the IFL. And Antonio Silva, only one loss period in his career. That being to Eric Pele at Bodoc's fight in Vancouver. Silva has never gone the distance in a fight, and I think that he knows that he's in against a very dangerous opponent. And Rico, the way he fades away from punches is actually pretty smart. He's staying out of danger from the striking ability of Silva. And I'm, to be honest, I'm pretty impressed with Rico, the way he's fighting this fight so far. Fighting a very good tactical fight, looking to catch the kick of Antonio Silva. Comes back with a knee, but he is leaving his hands down. Is that a, is that a problem for Rico? Is he trying to bait Silva? Does he not respect his punching play? You know, he's trying to bait him. He's trying to catch the leg. He's trying to trip him. And he, I, I can guarantee you also he saw and seen that Eric Pele fight when uh, Silva went down with the overhand right. It's a combination of a lot of things. Making the shoot, come up with the overhand right. Good body shot. Silva stopping that sluggish shot by Rico Rodriguez, dropping down a level but really didn't have any grip whatsoever. Rico's gonna work hard for this. 
Silva may have to work harder to make sure he stays upright. And this is where, again, the cage becomes a friend of the wrestler looking for the shot as you're able to pin him up against there for leverage. On, Working for the takedown is Rico Rodriguez, Antonio Silva up top. There's one thing that the cage works for the guy who's down too. Once he's down, he can use the cage to posture back up. And too. to launch himself away. Right, right. exactly. So it's, it's got, uh, you know, dual Well, it's purpose. become the dominant fighting surface in mixed martial arts. You and I both, of course, working in Japan, the pride ring, and now this Silva has that's trouble in trouble Rico against right the fence. Yeah, see, this is, uh, Rico's got to get out of this spot because he doesn't want to have this guy on top of him smashing away at him. Hammer fits Rodriguez by Silva. Gives up his back, turtling now. Silva looking to exploit this advantage he's on, been given. Work, work. Nearing the midway point of round two, Antonio Silva working over Rico Rodriguez along the fence. The row out attempt did not work for Rico. No, it didn't. And Silva passes the guard into side mount. This is going to be a problem for Rico Rodriguez because he's going to start really getting beat up here. It's going to be very difficult for him to either get guard or to, or to get some kind of a situation where he can roll out of this. He's almost got guard out of that. And he's got half guard now, which is a very active and guard. Here, miracle. Rodriguez. Three minutes gone in round two. He is a very big and dangerous heavyweight on top of him, raining down blows. Do you hear the shots I can that feel are raining? Him. Yeah, I can feel it. Me too. Silva's ground and pound attack on Rico Rodriguez, but again, give credit to the former heavyweight champion in the UFC, Rico Rodriguez, trying desperately to stay active on the bottom. And when you're carrying around 262 and three quarter pounds with that much weight on top of you, come on, you got to work, guys. Gotta definitely. A very difficult task. And I'll give credit where credit is due, but think about an in-shape, slim Rico Rodriguez, what he would be like now. And that's all about the mental game. I, I mean, how much does he want to get in shape? We've seen an in-shape Rico Rodriguez before in his career. We've seen him balloon to well over 300 pounds. And now Silva continues to just come on, come on, take work, shots. Work, work. The referee, Jorge Ortiz, asking them to work more. But Silva now busy with the hammer fist, heading into the final 60 seconds of the middle stanza. Work, work, work. Silva is in control here. But I've got to tell you, I'm really impressed with how Rico has actually improved as a fighter hey, John, by up, this up, fight. Up, up, up. Does Rico have a gigantic on, eyebrow Rico, or is that a cut over Rico, his left go. eye? It may have been from one of those hammer fists. For sure stop. it was. Oh, stop. I can't see him out of stop he can't see time. out of his left Doctor. eye. Doctor. 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 Says he can't see out of his eye. Left eye full. Yes, sir. Yeah, right. Yeah, but yeah. the blood was in Small, the blood. Yeah, blood okay. I know, Rico. Sure. All right. Okay, you're good. You all right? Yeah, put your mouth piece in. Okay. Right. You ready? Ready? Rico Rodriguez complaining of a lack of vision in his left eye. And uh, obviously instructing the medical staff that, yes, he still wants to fight, so... Well, it's interesting that they restored him standing. That is very interesting. Yeah, because, you know, Silva had the advantage on top on the ground. Bring up a very good point, fight professor. And he lost the advantage now, and he almost ate a back kick. Half a minute remaining now in the fight. Good sprawl by Antonio. Oh, oh, look at that! Anaconda. Oh, Anaconda. Antonio Rodriguez Nogueira. Move. Rico. Anaconda. He doesn't That's seem right. to be sweating, but if, if Silva gets back control, oh. which he won't, but so on top. Ooh. Still looking to roll. So great grappling affair between the two big boys as well. As Antonio Silva looking to bust out the Anaconda choke, the gator roll, call it what you will. By the way, Milton Vieira, the one who uh, taught Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira the Anaconda choke. One, two, babe. Oh, no, no. Faint and one, one, two. He's, he's trying to set you up for that knee. Yeah, I know. So I, I, you got to move your hands. Throw combination. He's leaving his head straight. Step off to the side. Oh, 
Okay, here's some ground and pound, classic ground and pound. The right hands, the hammer fists. Silva is really trying to take Rico out of there, even though Rico's got a great guard, it's a close guard. He's not able to defend the majority of those strikes. Second time. Silva keeps Second blasting time. away. He wasn't able to finish him. We almost thought it was over when the doctor looked at it. Well, you come, you're the fight professor. How do you score the fight through two rounds? Well, that first round was kind of close, to be honest. Uh, you could give that to Rico. Second round, definitely Antonio Ready? Silva. Timekeeper. Bill. Go. Same uh, I second that. All right, third and final round underway. Rico Rodriguez with a problem in his left eye. It'll be interesting to see if Antonio Silva can exploit that advantage. A small cut on the left eyelid of Rico Rodriguez. Silva should go back to the jab. He should go back to the jab, use a little bit of movement. Just throw the jab. He's looking to put Rico to sleep. Yeah, he's, 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 he's going to try and load up on someone. Maybe a flying knee or a head kick or something. Good outside cut kick by Rico Rodriguez. But in the meantime, he's sitting on the outside waiting, and that's not a good thing. Oh, takedown by Big Man. Big foot, Silva secures a takedown on Rico Rodriguez. And he was looking to control that left arm as well as Rodriguez wants to control Silva's posture. What he's looking to do is rain down those hammer fists again. Rico didn't even try to stop that takedown, sprawl, nothing. He knew he was going down. And now continues to rain down the hammer fist. Looks like he's content with his performance thus far. Very methodical, very focused. Well, Rico told us that if this fight goes the distance, that he'll be impressed. He seemed, he seemed, he seemed self-assured that there's going to be a rematch automatically anyway, but I don't know if that's the right answer well, going to, to be, a fight. No, but to be honest, if Rico Rodriguez, uh, again, with everything that's been going on in his career, I, I don't know if you want to publicly state you want to go the distance, because obviously on, that's work, not what work, you're work, work. set out to do. But uh, again, at his size, uh, the conditioning is a factor. And uh, Silva now just continuing to pepper at Rico Rodriguez. Silva might want to just step back, get it back to standing, and try to go to the body a little bit. I agree with you. Just step back. Because he's playing a game that Rico can last, and even if Silva gets the decision, which he will if this continues. Although we're seeing now here in round three that Rico's guard not as active as it was in round one and two, and fatigue perhaps beginning to play a factor as well, not a very busy yeah, guard. You, you got Antonio laying on you like that, raining down those hammer fists. Uh, uh, I, I don't believe that uh, Rico's going to last much longer. I think Rico can last the round, to be honest, because He's used to this position. More used to this position than the standing position. And yeah, you're right. You're right. He's more used to tying, tying Antonio. Well, uh, referee Ori Ortiz gets them back up on their feet. I think Silva should go with a body kick. Looks like it was setting him up for a knee or kick. How impressed are you with Antonio Silva's performance? We he, talk about him being the future of the heavyweight division. Well, he's he's, ha he's having to work in this fight. And a lot of people thought he was going to come in here and blow out Rico, but I didn't think so. Because Rico was ready. Rico has gotten better as a fighter. The Rothwell fight showed that Rico is a better stand-up fighter, and he's proved that here. Hey, let's be honest. You know, Rico Rodriguez in any shape is a slick heavyweight. Yeah. He's experienced. Good. He knows all the avenues of the game. Good takedown defense again by Antonio Silva. And you can see just in the shot attempt by Rico Rodriguez that the, the tank isn't as full as it was in the beginning of the fight. And now into the close guard of Antonio Silva as we near 90 seconds left in this heavyweight battle. And I want to see if Silva can do something with the guard rather than just close it up and try and tie Rico up. I think Silva knows that if he tries for any kind of a submission, he's going to get his guard passed, and then he's going to have some problems. So he's keeping the close guard, but he's got to be able to wrap up the arms of Rico to hope for a restart. One minute remaining now in this, the final round between Rico Rodriguez and Antonio Silva. Come on, let's get busy, guys. I, I think Silva busy. might want to think about being a little bit more active in striking from the bottom. Rodriguez doing a very good job here in the final minute. Yeah, he is. 
See, Silva doesn't want to get side mounted by Rico, for sure. But he's got to do something. We're seeing Rico not only survive, but also pull this thing back into where it's a, actually a competitive fight. Come on, work, work. Open guard, heel on hit by Silva. Someone might want to try a pushback and see if he can get back to his feet. Rodriguez busy delivering those elbows as well. Final 10 seconds. This one is going to go to the judges' scorecards. Rodriguez trying to make an impression here in the final few seconds of round three. Time, time. Wow. Show of sportsmanship, both of them embrace each other. A very close heavyweight battle between Rico Rodriguez and Antonio Silva. Up to the judges to adjudicate a winner in this one. It was close. That's going to be tough for the judges to score because Rico really came on in that last minute or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the takedown. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Silva oh, couldn't do anything oh. from his back. He didn't get totally beat up, but still. Mm. Yeah, a tough, uh, a tough way any which way you score it, Antonio Silva. Again, and Rico Rodriguez. Rico's got to be happy about his performance, and Silva can't be happy. He can't be happy because usually he dominates people. Right. He's right. never gone the distance ever. And again, there are people out there who say, well, he's fighting a former UFC heavyweight champion, but a former UFC heavyweight champion who hasn't been that person for a few years now. Rico has been written off so many times, and here he is again. What do we say about cockroaches? <laughs> I mean, you know, the, the nuclear war, and then it'll still be. I mean, this guy, I, you got to be impressed by Rico Rodriguez to go the distance with a guy that was being earmarked as the, guy, the next big guy. Right. And a guy that may or may not have won one, maybe two rounds. I don't know. I, I'm. I'm I've said it before, and I've been a judge before. I've been a judge for the UFC, King of the Cage, IBC. This is one I, I wouldn't want to be a judge for. I judged a pudding eating contest once in elementary school, and Rico Rodriguez wasn't in it, but that's the extent of my judging. Career. Thank you. So we are awaiting the official decision, and still to come, of course, the main event, street certified, Kimbo Slice, Tank Abbott. Been a great night of fights here on Showtime. Lots of knockouts. Now Antonio Silva still looking rather uh, refreshed, bouncing up. He's sporting the flags of his home country of Brazil and of course his team flag, American top team. Rico Rodriguez, training out of the American Fight Club in Las Vegas, with Saul Solis. So Stephen, a uh, bit of a delay here in terms of the scoring. Uh, usually that means that there's a, a bit of, uh, wow. Well, we know why there's uh, been a delay. Let's make it official with Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we have a split decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Chris Lee scores about 29 to 28 in favor of Rico Rodriguez. Judge at ringside, Rich Green scores about 30 to 27 in favor of Antonio Silva. Judge at ringside, Hector Gomez scores about 29 to 28 in favor of the winner, Antonio Big Okay, congratulations, Antonio. My question is, how competitive Rico was? Você teve surpreso com quanto bem estava o Rico? O Rico sempre um bom lutador, sempre um lutador perigoso. E já era o que eu esperava, uma luta bem dividida. E graças a Deus consegui ser vencedor. Rico is and always be a dangerous fighter. He knew it was going to be a tough fight, and thank God he came out on top.
No question, he was a step up in competition. Congratulations. Now, what are your thoughts on the main event coming up? Sem dúvida, isso foi um cara mais duro. Quais são os seus pensamentos daqui por diante? Meu pensamento daqui por diante é pedir ao Garichel. Garichel, I want the belt, heavyweight, please. Yes, I want the belt. And I'm sorry, people. I'm sorry. This is not the best, my, my fault. Sorry. There's always next time. Everybody give it up for Antonio Silva. Desculpa, pessoal. Eu não consegui ter a luta, a luta como eu esperava, que é 15 dias antes da minha luta. Eu, infelizmente, machuquei o meu ligamento. He just wants to say that he didn't find his best today. Two weeks ago, he tore his MCL, and he couldn't come back 100%, but he gave his best. Great things to come. Congratulations. Much a tougher fight than many people expected as uh, Antonio Silva records his 10th victory and there is David Tank Abbott mulling over his future in just a few moments. He will step into the cage with Kimbo Slice visualizing, contemplating what is about to take place. And as we approach the main event of the evening, we invite you to check out more Elite XC action brought to you by Pro Elite. Go to show.com slash Pro Elite, where you'll see interviews with all of tonight's fighters, pre-fight as well as post-fight. You can watch streaming of tonight's event as well as other upcoming shows from Cage Rage, Icon Sport, and Grappler's Quest. Plus, you can even post your own photos and fight footage. And make sure you visit the Pro Elite store with exclusive Elite XC merchandise. That's show.com slash Pro Elite, your home for mixed martial arts. All right, the crowd here at the Bank United Center is ready to explode. We are just minutes away from our main event, Kimbo.